I want to show you something amazing. I'm powering five synths in one single rack. And it goes like this. That's just one note on a keyboard. There's modifiers in there as well, so if I just play the note on its own, it comes out a little bit different. There's five different outputs coming on. Five different tracks that you can put effects on separately. And that's amazing. And five different synthesizers. So stick around to the end and I'll show you how to build a thing like that with that kind of complexity. With racks you're only limited by your own imagination and by the power of your CPU. In my case I tried to max out the CPU. I wanted to see how far I could push racks. And here's a version where I had eight different synthesizers in there. And uh, that was a bit crazy. It might crash. That coped. When I start putting in multiple notes, so it gets a bit uh, crazy. So let's start a new project here. So the first thing is to create a rack. So plug in racks, create new empty rack. No, so you can let it auto connect the first one, that's fine. For this part, we want to have a separate output. So what we do is drag this here onto another track and there we go it creates it what that's done is it's created another track that just reproduces exactly the same as what's on track one but we don't want that what we want is extra outputs and the midi midi input okay Two synths, one input. Next thing, the fun can begin. We can add modifiers. Let's do an LFO first. on that and if we double click that it opens up the modifier down here and then when we click on here it should give us key track so this here this here that was the wrong one I want this one Well, let's affect something in mini rays with the same thing. Do something similar like um, So you get the idea and you can see here that all of these things are connected in here. All those green things coming out of that, going into those. So if you click, if you just hover over them, oscillator one razor tune, wave two tune, shape, this is empty for a new one if you want, format X, key track, possibilities are endless. 
So here's what's going on here. That's five different synths. Biotech, Mini Rays, Vital, Surge, and Odin 2. And we can solder them. This one is affecting the mini rays, it's affecting vital and surge. And we can see what assignments it's got, we can see what parameters it's doing in here and how much how much of each. We can change that modifier to any kind of shape that we want. The ones over here on the very edge, the ones that are just affecting the the attack of each node. That's a fun one I'd like to show you in a whole different video. In summary, <laughs> racks are amazing. Keep an eye on the channel, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you very soon.